Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to actually do two reviews in one video because I, I, I just, they're the same kind of fragrance in the same ballpark with the same kind of description, so I'm going to cover two in the same. The first one we're going to cover is by Moist1920, and I cannot pronounce the name, so I'll put the name up on the screen for you guys. This one is a summer spring unisex fragrance. It opens up with a mix of citrus. There is a mixture of lime, grapefruit, orange, lemon, and mandarin. And the main ones to me are grapefruit and lime, but they're not a piercing, sharp, rejuvenating kind of citrus. They're a little bit more rounded, but yeah, it smells summery, it smells daytime, summer, spring. Quite nice, citrusy, mixed citrus, refreshing kind of opening, but like I say, rounded. There is a note of Pettigrain in the opening. I'm not the biggest fan of Pettigrain personally. It comes off in the opening slightly bitter. Some people might use the word sour, but I would use the word bitter and slightly green. A little bit floral. And that mellows out quite nicely after about 10 minutes, but I'm not a huge fan of the opening of the fragrance with the Pettigrain note. It's just a note that I'm not um, hugely fond of. But it adds a, the effect that it has, it adds a soapiness, kind of like a soapiness to it, a slightly bitter quality, a slightly green quality, a slightly floral quality, and an overall soapiness mixed with these rounded kind of citrus notes. As it dries down, you get this kind of carpeting effect. I, I'm, there feels like there's kind of musks and maybe something like Hedione in here. I, I get that kind of vibe where it doesn't smell that natural and it smells kind of blanketed under like a carpet of synthetic -y kind of florally musk notes, which is not my uh, jam. I, I don't like that kind of thing. At this point, everything is kind of mixing together. So you kind of get the the tail end of the citrus, the tail end of the pettigrain, and then this combination of rounded, muted, kind of musky floral notes. And it's at this point that it reminds me of shampoo. That, that's how it comes across to me. It smells like a herbal essence shampoo or something. It's kind of almost borderline creamy, kind of thick, uh, like a shampoo texture and a shampoo smell. It doesn't smell very luxurious or very niche. It kind of actually smells more like a designer fragrance, and I don't mean that in a negative, but I, I kind of do when this is more expensive than a designer fragrance. As it dries down further, it literally... You're left with this kind of shampoo-y kind of dry down, but that's very nondescript, kind of just a soft, woody, musky scent with a slight almost herbal tonality to it that's just going to remind you of a light kind of herbal shampoo. And that's the best way I can describe it. It's not all that interesting. There's, there's no point of... I, I, I like the introduction of the citruses. Not a huge fan of Pettigrain, but it's pleasant nonetheless. And the opening is probably the best part of the fragrance. As it dries down into smelling just of shampoo and you get these kind of musky, uh, synthetic-y notes that are kind of blanketing it a little bit and muting it, then it loses me. I, I am completely bored of the fragrance. And then it just tails out from there into nothing, really. There's there's no... There's nothing to keep you interested. The, there's no... There's no depth to the fragrance or anything that's going to grab you in the base to want to make you smell it more. It's just this generic kind of thing. Uh, that That's the, the disappointing thing. In terms of performance, this does not project well. The sillage is quite poor. And longevity is around three to five hours. And really, I would say three hours, it's a complete soft, close to the skin, skin scent. Five hours, extremely faint, almost not worth mentioning. So the performance on my skin, personally, is not great. Skin chemistry is wacky, and some people probably get a lot longer, but all I can say is my own opinion. Try it out for yourself, obviously. So not great performance, not an overwhelmingly great scent. 
For me, once it hits the dry down, the quality is not there. The quality is lacking. I mean, I'll be honest, like designer fragrances smell better than this in the dry down. You get something like Bulgari, Aqua, uh, Merino, whatever those call, are called in the round bottles. Those are better. They're, like it's a similar quality. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> in the dry down, they're the same, same in terms of quality, but they're a lot cheaper. So buy one of those instead because this, I just. Yeah, the top notes are fairly decent and it's a nice introduction, but give it 15 minutes, you're into this very generic, very cheap smelling base of nothingness that's just not worth the money. In my humble opinion, I would definitely recommend a whole host of summer designer fragrances over this one, because looking it up online, it's about £100 uh, for 100ml, so call it £50 for 50ml. It is, it's not hugely expensive, but you can get a designer for a lot less. So why buy this when the quality isn't there? Moving on to the second one in the review, it's by Italia Cologne and it's called Cedrat Enrant. Probably butchering the pronunciation, I'm so sorry. As with the opening of most Italia Colognes, they have great citrus notes. This one opens up with lime, bergamot, and citron, and it's and it's refreshing, it's summery. This one's a little bit, again, kind of muted off the bat, but it's it's still very, I don't know, it's a, it's a nice summery opening that's quite bright, but rounded and smooth at the same time. Now, I'm not gonna get into the, the notes with this one because how it smells is like shampoo. <laughs> Once those citruses have been on your skin for 30 seconds, it's going to remind you of a shampoo and that it doesn't change. I mean, it, as it dries down, it gets a little bit creamier, the citruses fade a little bit and it's like, again, like a herbal essence uh, shampoo. That's what it smells like. You get the texture of the creaminess of the shampoo and it, it smells like shampoo and shower gel basically and that's it <laughs> just imagine a refreshing shower gel smell job done um i mean i'm gonna keep the review short because it literally gives me nothing else it's pleasant yes it's gonna smell like you're not really wearing a fragrance it's just gonna smell like you're clean like you've stepped out of the shower with a nice shower gel and you're nice and clean with nice clean hair. That's what it's gonna smell like. Which is great if you just want a out of the shower, fresh, clean fragrance to smell clean and be work appropriate, then this might be a good one to check out. For me, it's a little bit dull, although the opening is nice. But I, yeah, if I, if I wanted to smell out of the shower fresh, then something like this I would reach for and it's, it's better than the the previous one from Boyce 1920. I prefer this one, but it just smells like shower gel and shampoo. In terms of performance, about five hours of longevity, not huge in the projection and sillage, you know, it's, most Atelier colognes are fairly light, this being no exception. It seems to last longer on me than something like Pomelo Paradis, but it's not overly long, and that's about it. Both of them are unisex, both of them spring and summer, both of them more for the daytime, both have refreshing um, kind of nice openings that are gonna remind you of summer and spring, and both lead into a dry down that kind of smells like shampoo. And that's about it. There's lots of fragrances like this that have a shampoo smell, like a shower gel smell. They're, you know, they're not a rare occurrence, they're, they're, it feels kind of redundant to me because I smell so many of them. So I bunged these two together in the same review because I feel like just doing a singular review on each of them is a waste of time. They're not ones I'm personally interested in, but if you want to smell clean and fresh out of the shower, then possibly check them out. I would go with the Atelier Cologne over the Boyce 1920, which in my opinion is dull and a waste of money. Atelier Cologne, a little bit better quality and a little bit just nicer in my, in my opinion. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again soon with another one and see you later. Take care everyone.
Thank you.